how did I land that job out of college? Hey, what's up everybody? CPA Strength here, strongest CPA that you know. I'm here for another video. Yes, I think it's probably pretty obvious because I'm here and you just clicked on a new video. Anyways, this one is gonna be from community college to CPA. It's gonna be part of the series. I'm making a new series. I love making series. So I didn't know, it's just like, I think that's a critical step from community, community college to CPA. And then, of course, me being me, I'm doing it out of order. How did I land that job out of college, okay? Now, for all the people who don't like the lead in and the story time, which is the best part, Craigslist. I found it off Craigslist. Okay, there, are you happy? Um, please, if that's what you want, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and watch the next video. Thank you. For everybody else, hey, what's up? Um, <laughs> you know, it's like, I don't have time. It takes forever. Okay. Now, okay, you've got what you, now. <laughs> I mean, see how, like, now I'm just trying to make, I'm just, I'm, I'm just making a little point here that if I just say, how did I find a job? Craigslist, you're like, okay. Uh, I need to, you know, now I'm gonna spend like eight, eight, eight minutes or whatever on how did I find a job? And why was that cool that I found it off Craigslist and this and that, blah, 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 blah. So, disclaimer, this is, well, I'm filming this is uh, October 2017. When I was looking for jobs, it was October of 2013. It was four years ago, and I can't believe it's been four years, and yeah, because I, I got a job at a CPA firm, and I worked there for two years, and then I've worked at my own accounting firm for two years, so it's four years since I looked for this job. And I didn't just go from my college degree I'm sorry, a little background on me, if this is the first time you've watched the video, is I have a, uh, I went, I went back to school or community college at age 31, um, graduated with a county degree from Florida Atlantic University at age 35 in, in the summer of 2012, and then the next tax season I worked at H&R Block, I haven't talked about that yet, then the following, after that tax season, I started uh, looking looking for a like a quote unquote like real real job, uh, of salaried. I needed I needed under a CPA because I wanted to be a CPA. Uh, so this is how I got that job, and uh, H and R Block's very uh, integral or very important, I believe. Like it. The, re I, the reason I got the job at the CPA firm is because I had a season of H&R Block under my belt. And how did I know I could do or wanted to do H&R Block? It's because I did the VITA program and volunteered. So it was like, boom, the butterfly effect almost, I guess. It sounds, yeah, like something small, but as I always say, just keep one, just keep plugging away positively, man. Just keep doing things. And you know what, you know what's the right thing inside, right? Like, am I doing good? Yeah, do you, like, do, like, you know, you know if it's good. Just do good stuff. Just keep on doing good stuff. I worked at H, I got my accounting degree, worked in H&R Block for a season. Uh, the tax season ends at, uh, I wanna say the years because I don't know if you do Craigslist now four years later, but when you're watching this, maybe Craigslist is still a good place to get a job for you too. Let's get to the freaking story, JD. Let's get to the story, buddy. Um, so I was looking for a job. How do I find a job? And what job did I need? I needed a job with a CPA who worked there because I needed to, uh, to work 2,000 hours under or around a CPA that was willing to write uh, you know, uh, to the state of Florida or the state that, that you're in or whatever, the state of Florida in my case, that's hey, this guy, work 2,000 hours in a year for me, and he's he knows what he's doing, he can be a CPA, so it was like not the easiest thing to do. So I thought that I would just go around, I thought I would, so I, so I thought that I would just, 
you know, I wasn't gonna win anything on a resume. That's why, you know, I say, cause I went, I don't have really anything on a resume. I'm like 35, I have like a season of H&R Block and then a season of volunteer work. So it's like, what did you do for 16 other years, buddy? It's like, uh. So, I thought, man, I thought I'm just gonna walk into places, right? Because then I'm gonna get lucky. I'm gonna walk into the right place at the right time. Someone is gonna see me, right? Someone is gonna, someone is gonna say, oh man, I need somebody. Not the case, not the case. And now when I was going for accounting places or professional places or the places I was going for, I, I ran across that if it's a, uh, if it's like a decent sized company, they're gonna say, you know, how to apply. Like you could show up with your resume in hand that's what I was doing and they would say oh you apply online like that's just what you do like will you take my resume well you no, know, you apply online and then it's just like you're taking it's like a, a online resume and it's like going it's like does anybody even get that am I sending an email you know if you don't send a lot of emails and then you and then you try sending one for a job a resume and then you never hear back you're like did I do it right do I know how to do an email <laughs> So I thought I would just walk into places. Um, so I was getting a, you know, a, a big place. So it's like a smaller place is a me, you know, medium, small place, you know, 10 employees, four to 10 employees. I was thinking I'll hit them up. So I went, I live in, you know, Fort Lauderdale uh, at the time of job search, at the time of this video. Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and I I thought, oh, I looked at CPA, like I Google searched it, whatever on the maps, and I just was like, oh, I'm gonna go to the, the closest ones first to where I'm living, and then uh, eventually, like, I mean, there's a ton of them, I'm like, there's like 50 of them in here, like I'll eventually find some. So I went out full of piss and vinegar, I guess, you know, I mean, it wasn't my favorite, but I was like, man, I gotta find a job. Like, I gotta do this. You know what I'm saying? I just went to school. I got a degree. I worked at HR Block. Like, yo, like, it's just, it's just something that has to be done. So I started going out, and nah, like these little places, like people weren't at their office. Like, look at me. I'm not at my office. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's it. You know. Uh, they were at the office, the people that were at their office, I say, would you take my resume? Oh, no, we're not, we're not hiring, you know. Well, would you at least just take my resume? Because it makes me feel like I would do something. And they're like, eh, I'm not going to look at it. So it's like I couldn't even give away my resume. Like if I could, if I could give, like if I could just have like two people a day out of like five or ten places, you know, um, to even take the resume. So I got no no calls, I got like one little nibble, but it was like nothing. Just cause it happened to be the secretary and the secretary like put in a good word for me, but he didn't need anything. <sighs> so anyways, I was kind of dejected. I was like, is this gonna happen for me? I just went around to everywhere. Um, so I don't know. I mean, I've been uh, I've been on all the Yahoo Yahoo Messenger, uh, all the the Craigslist dating sites, all the dating sites. You know what I'm saying? Um, and uh, so if Craigslist was just like a weird like dating site to me. Like weird people are on Craigslist. <laughs> And I knew they did other stuff like sell, uh, I thought like patio for used gym equipment or something. I thought it was used gym equipment and, uh, you know, uh, nude pics or whatever. Dating, weird people on dating site. So I don't know, I guess I was on there for for dating site because a guy gets lonely. And then I was like, jobs. And I was like, you could do jobs on Craigslist too? So I'm like, okay, I don't know. Um, so I had been going out for like a month now and I had not got really a nibble on anything. So I put out, I put out some, uh, 
s answered some things on Craigslist, like, hey, I'm your guy, and boom, and like, um, I, like the third, second or third email I did, I mean, you know, it's easy to do one of these replies. It's like, hey, I'm your guy, you know, like, I'm your guy, you know, it's easy. It's like, so, uh, this, I think like the third one I did, I got, I got, a, I got an interview. And I was like, wow, okay. So then I was nervous about getting an interview. So I had an interview. Um, there was this really good book that got recommended to me. And because I was so nervous on the job interview, um, and this book was saying that, you know, the person interview like just how you want this job so bad, the person interviewing you wants to fill this role so bad. Like, you know, you just, you'll take any job. You're looking for jobs. You just want a job. You will work, you know, and put yourself in the, the person looking you know, he needs this. He's, you know, where do you find a person? You put an ad in Craigslist, so now someone's coming in and he just wants to see, he just wants to find someone who he thinks is normal and has a good skill set and a good attitude. He just wants to fill the job so he can go back to his normal life. So think about that. So I'm just like, okay, just be yourself, just be normal, you know, just, he wants to, they, they want to fill this job as bad as you want this job. So. Just think about that too. Like no one, like they don't enjoy the job interview either. They just want to get this done. So, um, the other thing that got me through this like book, it was like, you know, you know in your heart that you'd rather get abducted by aliens right now than go in this job interview. And I'm like, yeah, I was thinking about getting probed in all these weird places. And I was like, yeah, I'd probably rather do that than go to this job interview right now. <laughs> So, it's just saying, you know, everybody hates the job interview. Everybody hates it. Um, just, everybody hates it. It's something you have to do. The person interviewing just wants somebody normal. Just get it over with and then do something nice for yourself. You know, go buy yourself a nice t-shirt or, you know, go get a milkshake. You know, like... Do something you like to do. You know, you've conquered the fears, whatever. I did not get that job. Well, hold on. I didn't hear anything. So I put in like two more emails on Craigslist. Got a response. Got another interview. Felt like I did good on that first interview. But there was no CPA there. There was just an enrolled agent. So I didn't really want that job. But I was willing to take it because I was willing to take anything. Crushed the second interview. A couple days after I did that, I got a, a, a job offer from the second interview. <laughs> so then I had a job. I was starting like in a month or something during the next year, next tax season. So then w during that month, I got a call from the first place I interviewed for and they offered me a job. <laughs> and I said, <gasps> Oh, I'm sorry. I already have another job. I don't need your job anymore. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, so I went from no jobs to turning a job down just because I kept pushing forward. Uh, I thought a little bit out of the box. I thought I was out of the box going in places personally, but that didn't work for me. Craigslist worked for me. I hope you like the video. I love making these videos. I can't wait till I make this video tomorrow. Oh my God, what a blessed life. Deuces.